Can you mix them to get the right shape? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when you're doing uh, porcelain stuff. Um, okay, so let's say we do a composite filling back here. We're done with the filling. We're looking, we tell the patient, you know, close, bite, bite, bite. What are we gonna do to check and see if we made that composite too high? Look at those little strip things. Little I strip things. <laughs> It's not a bite wing. It's no. no that's, it's that's an extra paper wing. wing. <laughs> it is called articulating paper. Right. Okay. okay. And some dentist will just put it like this with their fingers, um, but there is an actual instrument specific for it, and this is called a Miller forcep, and. They'll put it in here. Now, look at the shape of that, okay? There's a cutout here, mm -hmm. and if I put it like this, they're gonna bite on that, mm -hmm. and that's what you don't wanna do, because now you're fixing their teeth for free. This is specifically for pushing the cheek out the way, tap, tap, tap. If all you see, are the little blue dots on that composite and nothing on the other teeth, guess what? We got some grinding to do. So then you're gonna take your high speed and you're gonna say, okay, we're gonna adjust your bite, okay? So we're gonna adjust it. Now we're gonna say, okay, Tap, tap, tap. It's still just showing up on the composite. And you just keep that process going back and forth. Yes, ma'am. So what size drill bit would you use for adjusting? It's up to the dentist. Usually, like, they'll use a finishing burr to just take slight, like a 7901, mm -hmm. um, 7803, just to take slight um, sh um, shavings off of it, you know, slight adjustments to it. So, um, so that's, that's what you do for adjusting composite. What about amalgam? We don't use amalgam in this um, cl free clinic because I am against amalgam because of the mercury, but you might work in an office where someone says, no, 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 I like the silver fillings, give me the amalgam. How do you adjust that? Same way. <laughs> no, no, no. I, you know, I'm making you think. So, same thing. And then after you're done adjusting it, here's the other thing. They can come back 24 hours later and polish it, make it shiny silver. Um, some people like that. You know, in Russia, it's a sign of wealth. If you get a crown, you want to get a gold crown so people can say, hey, look, I've got money. I got dental work done. Um, so, the little bit of saliva. So you're constantly, um, as an assistant, you're constantly looking in the mouth and saying, okay, you know, where do I have saliva? Go behind in that uh, second molar region, the retromolar area, and suction. Okay? Any questions? No? Okay. So we've done our adjustment. The next thing is um, we got to take the cotton out. So what do I do? Saturate. Saturate. So we're going to saturate. Take it out. Um, let me see. Do you see any pickups? There's a pickup in there. Hand me that pickup. Cotton plier or pickup. It's just like sneakers or tennis shoes or kicks. Different names for it. But we do have our pickups. And so um, I'm going to saturate it until pretty much you see it just fall by itself. You don't wanna pull. You don't wanna get that mucosa. And you just take it out, okay? And I'm gonna look around the mouth. And if there's anything, you know, you wanna look all around the vestibule, this nice area where you always get salad and stuff stuck and you gotta put your finger in there and swipe it out. Um, you've got your lingual, there's no um, cotton there. There's none in the vestibule. And we're good. 
but there's a little bit of um you hear that suction okay now the other thing is if it's an adult and they're nervous because yes adults get nervous at procedures i'll say you know i'm gonna give this to you we're just doing a cleaning nothing where i have to suction and watch with the doctor i'll say would you like to hold um the suction to get water out of your mouth not spit don't say mr thirsty to an adult let's treat mm -hmm. him like an adult but if it's a kid i might say hey you know this is mr thirsty and you want to hold this and if you get thirsty just go ahead and take some of that water out of your mouth and if you see it come up then the kid's telling you hey just kind of back off let them do their thing tell them to close their lips because it's going to suction more water up and um but if it's an adult you know let them hold it what i don't like is this that's like a fish hook that's not comfortable and if your leg pulls on it it's not i mean the cheek's gonna stretch but it's still not professional i don't think so those are the options i use when i'm working with a patient you hold it or i'm gonna hold it in my hand and suction in okay any questions no all right so we've got our um articulating film okay articulating paper or film and what instrument do i put it in what was this called <laughs> good try <laughs> i love you a miller forcep are you the only one taking notes yeah Five points extra credit. <laughs> All right. That's not fair, because I'm taking mental notes. Well, you didn't know the answer? I was letting oh. everybody see something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what was this called? Wait. You put the sealant or etch, you know, it's just a little dish. Dish, yeah. Dapping dish. Yeah. Okay. The dapper. The dapper. Really um, All right. And you were asking me about the different burrs you know these are your uh diamond tapers um and i'll put these in here so you can kind of look over those um this is an amalgam well it's glass however um we can also use this we use it in ortho we had a bunch of these we would use this as a dappen dish just to put etch in or sealant um especially if you had a a b sealant it wasn't light cured it was chemical cure you put your A in one, your B in the other. So you have your base and your catalyst. And then when you are ready, you would mix them together and seal the teeth. Um, so it just depends on what procedure you're doing, but you can, you know, mix it up. Okay, uh, the other thing I was gonna go over was some of your tray setup. So it's kind of informal tonight, but that's okay. So for restorative, we've got um, all of these instruments here. And what is the purpose of this little thing on a tray? To keep them from rolling. Keep them separated. Keep them separated. In order. In order of use. So I'm looking at this, and the first thing the doctor pretty much always goes for is what? Mouth mirror. Okay, now what is the mouth mirror used for? To push the cheek back. Pull that cheek back, hold the tongue back, reflect light in there so you can see. Okay. Good night. My muscles are sore. I worked out today. I was very proud of myself. I haven't been to the gym in like a year. I'm going to keep it up though. New Year's resolution. Um, so then the next one would be what? Explore. Explore. Because we're going to explore and look and see if there's any cavities, uh, any um, anything sticking. So we're gonna check the pits and fissures, and if you feel a tug, uh-oh. Ari, let me get you to take a, a film on that. Get me a bite wing so I can see if there's any shade going on. Um, and make sure there's, we don't need to do a filling on that, okay? 
But if your patient is getting sealants and you know we're sealing and making sure those pits and fissures are covered, then when they eat the Starburst and uh, caramel chews, it's not gonna stick down in the pits and fissures because the composite's there to, to get rid of that. All right, so Mouth Mirror Explorer, what's the last thing in a basic setup? Pickups. Pickups. So there's your pickups. And what is it used for? Pick stuff up. Pick stuff up. So I'm gonna go in here and there was a little piece of glue. So if you're in ortho and you're doing a bonded expander and you press it up, glue is going to ooze out. We would use our three inch or six inch cotton tip applicators to get that out, okay? But every once in a while, there'll be some glue that kind of forms and you just pick it out, okay? You take your two by two, wipe it on there. So you also might have um, tooth fragments. Um, if a doctor is drilling and all of a sudden the tooth fractures and you don't want it to get caught up in the suction, use these, play operation, go get it, okay? Now, we have our basic setup, but then we need to um, do a composite filling or an amalgam filling. So let's say we're gonna do a composite filling because that's all we do here in this clinic. Um, you drill number six round to get rid of the cavity, uh, etch, rinse, dry, seal. And then if we're going to go ahead and put the filling in, we're going to um, take the syringe and put it in there. And then what might we use to pack it in there? One of those. One of these? so smart <laughs> so let's look at some of these pluggers condensers okay the packer, the packer. <laughs> way to be technical um, so here is um, a ball burnisher it pushes down it's a plugger condenser and it looks like a ball okay so you can push it down in there or um, this is a football burnisher looks like a football okay you can put the little point in or the big fat round part um, and then on the other side there's a ball burnisher okay little ball burnisher so this would be um, a double-ended instrument with two different ends on it the dentist might prefer that so you're setting it up how your dentist is going to use it and what their preference is. There's a duplicate. Um, this is an acorn burnisher because it looks like an acorn. And maybe they like that. Typically with a double-ended instrument, you've got the same thing, just smaller and bigger. Okay, but it's the same shape. Um, when you get into specialty instruments, it's like some, some dentists have it custom made. Like... This particular, this is not just an Explorer, it's also a Perioprobe, so it's called an Expro, Explorer Perioprobe combined. You know, like Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, Benifer, mm -hmm. kind of like that, you know? So, if I'm doing um, composite, this is my best friend. This is the plastic filling instrument. Why do we call it that when it's a metal instrument? Any guesses? Because you're filling plastic into the tooth. Flowable plastic that's gonna get hit with the light and get hard, okay? So, a lot of, a lot of new assistants will say, go get me the um, um, plastic filling instrument. And you're looking for a plastic instrument. And that's not what you should be looking for. You're looking for the metal instrument that has a, a beaver tail or a paddle looking thing on it. Um, so that you can take the plastic and fill it, okay? And so that's what that is. And once you're done, um, of course, you hit it with the light. And so it's going to look blue like that. I'm going to turn the power off. These things um, come in different settings. So you can have a solid blue or you can have... Um, 
like a intermittent light. I don't like that. These, you have to light it for 30 seconds. There are some very intense lights, just like a tanning bed. You have the intense beds, um, and then you have the standard beds. Um, so know what you're using in your office, because if you hold this light down, it could actually heat up the composite, and the patient would be like, that burns. Well, they're feeling that heat sensation. And so you wanna make sure that you know how long do I cure this for? And they'll tell you on the package, you know, what what you're doing um, as far as your curing time, okay? Any questions about that? Is that helpful? Yeah, okay. All right, what else did I wanna go over? Uh, we have intermittent restorative material. That's the stuff that you use a spatula with. Um, I do have the spatula. Um, and this is something that you would do chair side, um, but we're going to switch gears a little bit and go look at some of these instruments, okay?